Aloha everyone, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your pick a card reading for the full moon in Cancer. This is a pick a card reading where we are asking what harvest and what blessings are coming in for you during this lunar cycle, so from full moon to full moon. Cancer deals with the emotions. It also deals with your stomach, breast, lymphatic system, home, and family. So know that those are where your focus will be. Please take your time and choose a card now. Pile number one is on the left. Pile two is in the middle. Pile three is on the right. If you need to pause the video, please do so and let spirit guide you. There are timestamps in the description box below for each pile, as well as information on how to get a private reading with me or energy alignment session. So let's get started. Aloha group one, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your full moon reading. Okay, so the full moon is in Cancer um, at this filming. So Cancer has to do with, it rules the part of your body, it rules your stomach, your breast and nipples, and um, your lymphatic system, okay? So during this time, regardless of the reading, pay attention to um, eating foods that are soft for your stomach. Excuse me, got my hair did. Um, really paying attention to those areas. You may be more sensitive. Um, this also, cancer has to do with the emotions, your home and family life. So there's going to be um, more attention paid to those areas during this full moon. This particular reading is about um, is about what blessings or what harvest is coming in on this full moon. So from full moon to full moon. So this lunar cycle is what we're going to be looking at. Okay. So these are things, the intentions that you planted on the new moon now coming in to harvest. So we want to see what blessings and what's coming in for you for this next lunar cycle. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to those of you who have liked, shared, subscribed, all of those things help my channel to grow and expand and it's so um, nice for me to be able to continue to make these videos for you to those who have made um, donations thank you so much I absolutely appreciate that that helps me to buy new tarot and Oracle cards for the channel and um, so let's get to it okay so let's see I'm gonna try just to raise this up just a little bit there we go see how that works okay um, <clears throat> and let me know in the comments below if you like this setup I've had several people say that they want to see me in the video um, and so that's why I show myself rather than just some tarot readers show um, a like a video of the cards um, so let me know what you would prefer I will show you all the cards as we go through Okay, you guys, um, so if you haven't had a reading with me before, how I do my readings, I read very intuitively, so sometimes I don't read the traditional meanings of the cards. Um, I am um, a medium. I'm a person who um, is clairaudient, clairsentient, are my most um, used um, inner senses, clairvoyant as well. And so we just use all the senses and let it flow, okay? So let's go with this. So let's start with pile one, okay? Pile one, we have the crystal that's going to be most used for you is muscovite, okay? Can we see that? So muscovite is the confidence stone. Muscovite is commonly referred to as um, mica or mica and is often used to improve dexterity and reduce clumsiness. It is an aligning stone and helps with motor function. Mentally, it is a supporter of confidence as it is known to remove self-doubt. Um, Mika can be used to reflect and recognize personal behaviors and negative self-destructing patterns. It's also what I use to um, uh, color my jewelry when I make um, necklaces and things out of polymer clay. I use that. It's what's used in makeup, okay? Perfect. So muscovite, and you guys, I shuffled all of these um, before, but have not looked at any of these. So we're gonna go straight into your tarot, and then we'll go to um, your oracle cards. Okay, so I chose nine tarot cards because we're opening a cycle, so I'll just show them all to you. We have Queen of Pentacles, 
the Empress. Four of Wands. Queen of Cups. Strength. King of Pentacles. Six of Wands, the Emperor, and we have Five of Wands. Okay, you guys, this looks really, really good. To say that you are increasing in your confidence in this lunar cycle is um, really an understatement, okay? So for many of you, we do have the Emperor and Empress coming out here. So with the four of wands this is the 11 11 okay so there may be some of you who have been programming and looking for love specifically with your divine counterpart um, these are divine counterparts coming in so some of you who use the label twin flame that may be um, the partnership that is igniting for you or taking your relationship to the next level if you're already partnered with your divine counterpart this is taking you guys to the next level okay we start off your um, reading with the queen of pentacles the empress and the four of wands you guys um, this is <clears throat> really beautiful because whether you're male or female matters not you're really coming into your confidence and power this lunar cycle queen of pentacles is um, the generous one she's the ph philanthropist this is the part of you using your divine feminine side of yourself to be the philanthropist to be the one who is generous with others um this can say watch out for spending too much money but because you have this with the empress and fertile dreams some of you may be entrepreneurs okay so what's coming in for many of you who have been programming for business or brand new business because we do have the king of pentacles later it's um it's showing that this lunar cycle is going to bring in this entrepreneurial spirit okay this is going to bring in um a foundation for your project so four of wands for me is a foundation okay this is the four of clubs this foundation is a foundation of knowledge this is a foundation of learning how to have that work-life balance so you're really learning how to do that for some of you in the love romance area this is the card of marriage okay so some of you if you're single you may be meeting your divine counterpart that you will um, become married to later on some of you may be um, moving into um, the next levels of your relationship whether that be in work or whether that be in um in uh, romantic situations for some of you if you're already paired up you may be um, becoming pregnant if that's what you were looking for the empress is fertile m um, and it's the card of venus okay and so she really uh whether you're male or female um, she's fertile so whatever your ideas are it's this fertile ground it's mother Gaia it's this beautiful um, coming together okay the middle of your reading you have the Queen of Cups and strength okay Queen of Cups and strength Queen of Cups you're really coming into your royal type of powers and this is you being in charge of your emotions okay so how um, this lunar cycle, your confidence is building in yourself. That's your main theme. And you have the strength. This is card of Leo. Okay. So we have um, Leo. Uh, we have um, Capricorn, Taurus, and um, Virgo present here, as well as Aries. Okay. As well as um, uh, Cancer. So we've got... Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Aries, and then the Earth signs as well, okay? And so this is really showing that you have the strength. This is showing that this lunar cycle, your strength is building. It's this internal strength of confidence, this internal strength of you having everything that you need and everything that you want. Some, some of you may have two choices, okay? 
two roads you can go down that are um, <clears throat> for business or love um, because we do have two divine pairs here. We have the emperor and empress and then we have the king and queen of pentacles. Okay, so business is very, very um, looking very good. Entrepreneurship specifically or you moving into a position of leadership in your job. So some of you may be getting a promotion. Some of you may be starting your um, business. Okay, king of pentacles here. This is master of values and currency. And then we have six of wands with that. Okay, the next three out are king of pentacles, six of wands, and the emperor. Okay, those of you that have been programming for specifically um, job um, scenario or business, your project is about to flourish in this um, full moon cycle. Six of Wands says you're having a victory and you're getting recognized, okay? Those of you in love and relationships pairing up, this King and Queen of Pentacles with the Four of Wands is showing me that this is long term, okay? The Pentacles are long term investments, so this very well could be singles, those of you that are meeting your beloved in this lunar cycle. Okay, um, it may be at a New Year's party or at a, um, you know, business function or work function, award ceremony, because there's recognition present here. Um, this is going to be someone who's going to be your long-term partner and possibly the person that you marry. Okay, and then the end of the reading is Five of Wands, and this is just telling me um, what to be careful of, because this, this full moon is very much in the emotions. This is coming out under Queen of Cups. So this is saying to me that you are going to come into victory and balance with your emotional side. Five of Wands can be card, a card of conflict, change, etc. You're going to be having a lot of change. And so some people may not um, like that as much. Um, but this is just saying be careful with that. Be careful of conflicts. If it's not going to matter in five years. Don't go for it. Okay. Choose your battles wisely. This is just saying, you know, um, some people may be wanting to squabble or what have you as you're building this, but this is showing me this is you're building your self confidence. So I really do feel like you'll stick up for yourself this time and you'll choose your battles wisely. You're not going to just talk to somebody or start a fight with someone just because, okay. Um, this really is about, you coming into your strength and power. This is a very confident energy that I'm feeling. And it's a very um, humbly confident. This isn't arrogant. This is just knowing that you have the strength and that you have the wherewithal to move forward with your dreams. Okay, let's look at your Oracle cards. We have Sisters of the Star Blossoms. Okay, this has to do, they're very shiny cards. Sorry about that. There we go. Sisters of the Star Blossoms and the Turquoise Lotus Mother. These are Kuan Yin. Uh, oracle cards. Okay, so Sisters of the Star Blossom has to do with the Pleiades. Okay, so you definitely have help from your star systems as well as your community. So um, whether you're male or female matters not, your community of, of people, okay, that divine feminine. Tur tur turquoise Lotus Mother is suggesting that there's healing that's happening right now. There's a healing in your self-confidence and in your emotions, which was shown throughout this, this reading. The Oracle of the Mer Mermaids is Visions. Okay, psychic images, clairvoyance, seeing, out-of-body travel. Some of you may be very psychically inclined, especially during this uh, full moon, because this full moon is going to get you into your intuition and emotions. Okay, and so um, some of you may have a vision, and Spirit's showing me right now, some of you, like uh, for business, may have may, may not know the, the way to go, but you have this vision and some of you might have direction that's coming in in the dream so follow that path okay so if you see the sign signals synchronicities some of you very well may have already experienced this future timeline and so they're saying go in that way so it's like um they're showing me how they guide me so they'll guide me with numbers and then sometimes things just sparkle a little more okay so excuse me if um something kind of glimmers a little bit more you know like it, it catches your attention follow that path or talk to that person or if that person comes up and talks to you and they've got a little bit of a shine to them okay um that's going to let you know that that's the path for you they're also saying follow the golden path um which is something they've instructed me to do and so however that resonates with you okay 
appreciate this moment. All right. So not getting too far out into the future. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. And it says slow down. Okay. Again, earlier in the reading, I said you're going to be learning that work-life balance. Okay. So this, um, for those of you that picked pile one, um, you guys are coming into your strength and that strength of knowing that everything comes to you at exactly the right time. Um, you can slow down. You can enjoy this moment because you have rich, rich blessings coming to you in multiple areas of your life. Um, those of you that have had some uh, physical things or um, mental things, like I'm, I'm seeing some um, digestive issues and I'm feeling um, like a depression or mental illness, this is showing that, that there's going to be a lift in that this lunar cycle. So those of you who have been dealing with that, like hope is going to return. Your fertility and your belief is going to return. Fertility is also that fertility of the mind, the fertile ground in which to plant your seeds. Okay. So thank you so much, pile one. This is what's coming in for you for your full moon. And until next time, Aloha. Aloha. pile two, this is Stephanie with the whispering dragonfly. Okay. You guys chose amethyst. Okay. This beautiful amethyst card. Just so you know, if you didn't watch the intro, I do read intuitively. So if you guys are, are readers, I may not always read things the way that the cards are traditionally done. I started off with playing cards um, and destiny cards. So I read things in a little bit of a different format. So just enjoy. I talk to um, my spirit guides, inner self and source. And so I let that uh, flow through me. So what we're looking at right now is the blessings and the harvest that is coming in for you in this full moon in Cancer. Full moon in Cancer has to do with the stomach, the breast, the lymph lymphatic system, okay, your emotions, your intuition, okay. It also has to do with home and family and matters of the heart. So you may be very focused there um, during this full moon. So these are the blessings that are coming in from your last new moon intention. Okay, so amethyst is the soothing stone. For the physical body, it is said to be a helper of sleep and cure of insomnia. It is known to calm the nervous system and prevent nightmares. Metaphysically, let's see if we can make that look a little bit better. There we go. It is believed to bring luck and prosperity, prevent marital infidelity, and soothe the mind and soul. It's also a popular stone to use during meditation and grounding. The chakra is third eye and crown. Okay. So for many of you, I feel like, um, and I shuffled all the cards off of, um, camera here, but I have not looked at them yet. Okay. So for many of you, I feel like this last lunar cycle, you have really kind of increased in your psychic awareness, spiritual awareness, crown chakra and pineal gland. They're showing me that that's opening up. And so, um, and has been opening up. So that also may have like kind of fried the nervous system a little bit because you have been letting in, um, higher levels of light. Okay. And, um, <clears throat> So what they're saying is aware amethyst, used amethyst, it's going to help to calm your nervous system. It's going to help you to sleep better. Some of you, um, the energies have been very intense. So some of you may have been um, having insomnia. Okay. And so this cycle is saying all of that's clearing. You're going to sleep easier. The information is going to come in more gently. Um, they're also saying be aware that you can ask for that. Okay. If something's coming in a little bit too intense for your body, um, you can ask and say, Hey, um, I don't know what's going on right here. Sorry. I think it's just a shadow. Um, you can ask for your body for them to help download to you, um, in a gentler fashion. Okay. But we are going through rapid growth here. Let's take a look at your tarot and then we'll look at your Oracle cards at the end. Okay, we have the sun, <laughs> first card out, yes. This is the modern witch tarot. We have three of cups. All right, pile two, the sun will come out. All right, we have 10 of swords. We have the chariot. We have the hanged one. All right, we have the magician. We have Ten of Cups. We have Judgment. And we have Knight of Cups. All right. Wonderful. Okay. First out here is the Sun. Um, 
three of cups and the ten of swords you guys I am feeling so good I feel like this last um, actually few lunar cycles they're showing me like two to three lunar cycles has been really hard for you guys so it's like um, it's the Sun is finally showing up ten of swords it's like the other card in this deck is this like she's looking at her phone having been stabbed all on the back and she's looking at her phone and it's called everything's fine it's fine it's all good right and so um it's like you've kept pressing on and you've kept moving on despite feeling like it's you've had these burdens or um, negative emotions or people stabbing you in the back um and what it's showing is the sun is coming out after a time of um of of a rough journey here okay and so um so spirit's really excited notice how this little girl is like a young little girl on that white horse the sunflowers are out you know it's like it's just a beautiful image and um it's a beautiful feeling i feel like you're really lifting because like with this insomnia and other things that's been going on part of it's been from outside influence but also you've been changing so much inside that it's like really um really a time for lifting of your spirit and lifting of yourself three of cups here there's um room for celebration reason for celebration so these hard or burdensome times are lifting off of you okay there's going to be reason to celebrate in this lunar cycle and I also see celebrating with like-minded friends. Notice how they're all like different, but um, all good friends. Some of you might be like mermaid people. Some of you might be a little retro 80s. Some of you might have, you know, this like girly glam thing going on, whether you're male or female, you know, it's just, it's a, it's an interesting group of friends, but it's your tribe. Okay. Like I feel like you guys are coming together um, regardless of differences. And I feel like um, for some of you, in this lunar cycle you're gonna be meeting new friends that feel like family I feel like some of you have felt really alone and have been asking to have your soul tribe and so what's what this is saying is that your soul tribes coming in your people who get you are coming in and they're all very different but you guys all get along very very well okay so for those of you um, who are watching this picked pile two, who have been asking for those friendships spirit saying yes your people are on their way okay you're gonna get them in this time we have the chariot okay card of cancer we have the um the hanged one a pisces and then we have um the magician okay so you are really coming into your magic okay the chariot showing that there's swift movement You've been stuck or indecisive about certain things, but I feel like in this particular lunar cycle, what Spirit's saying to me is you're surrendering to the goodness. I feel like some of you have been so used to things being hard that you surrender to the everything's fine, swords in the back, but what they're showing is what you're surrendering to is this and this, okay? You're surrendering to the energy of that change and of the magic okay you are the magician you are swiftly coming into that okay where things have been stuck they are becoming unstuck where you have been indecisive you're taking a new um, perspective where things have been um, looking like they will never get better they're gonna get better okay but it's coming from you surrendering to the goodness surrendering to your reward receiving the rewards that you have asked for because i do feel like for many of you there's lots of reason to celebrate okay there's big change that's happening and swift change and movement in this lunar cycle towards your desires because the next part's out we have ten of cups we have judgment and we have knight of cups okay for a small percentage of you, I feel like, okay, Spirit's saying for me to say this message, it may not resonate with everyone because it's a very specific and a small one. Those of you who are going through a divorce and have lost your kids, it's saying that the judgment's going to be in your favor and the kids are coming back. Happy family, okay, everybody together, all right? And so we have the sunshine card. 
like this is all a judgment in your favor okay it's going to really bring your heart's desire to you i know that's a very very specific message but i, I feel like uh, some of you who have picked that have been going through a divorce that's the darker times and for some reason um it's showing me that your children have not been with you but they are going to be with you okay so judgment will be in your favor there's movement that's happening on that there's magic that's happening behind the scenes they're saying we're working it all out we're putting the puzzle pieces together and to um they're saying to surrender to love and unconditional love not meaning that you forget what someone has done um, but you take a different approach okay for those of you that that's not that it's just showing that there's a balancing that's occurring and it's going from this came this ten of cups came out under ten of swords so you're going from this ten of swords hopeless you don't know what's gonna happen and what will what will come forward to ten of cups life is good bless card my heart is full and we have judgment and knight of cups I also feel like for some of you with this judgment the balancing that's occurring I feel like some of you may be getting an offer of love from someone who had multiple choices before for someone who walked away for some reason from you and they're going to be coming back in spirit saying they're saying um and they're going to be offering your the, you their cup now you get to decide whether that's going to be your ten of cups moment but for those of you who have been asking for a specific person to come back spirit showing me that the judgments on your favor like behind the scenes they were kind of stuck they didn't know what to what to say to you they didn't know how to um, approach you um, but the magic's been happening behind the scenes and so in this lunar cycle they will approach you and they will offer you your cup if that brings you joy if it feels like this the sunshine ten of cups three of cups then absolutely go for it okay um, I think you will make the decision for those of you that it's not someone from the past and have been looking for love I do feel like this knight of cups is coming in to offer their cup to you um, to say look I have this offer of my emotions and you just take a balanced approach with that okay but I do feel like um, those of you who have been asking for that there's been some real magic that's happening behind the scenes so where you have felt hopeless you're going to feel a major joy and celebration in this month okay we have the bamboo moon from Kuan Yin yeah and so this is just showing the hardiness and the harvest that's available to you let me just look I haven't had that card come out in a while so um, perfect it said did you know that there are no mistakes in the universe and all events circumstance relationships and situations are in unfolding in perfection with the timing intelligent and intelligence of the divine plan any apparent delay in you is in your favor if something is happening for you right now then that is perfect too divine timing is perfection it's safe to trust this now what did I say there's magic behind the scenes you are becoming the man magician divine timing is working in your favor um, this lunar cycle okay so um, what comes in for you on this lunar cycle is a um, is divine timing so reject none accept all in that sometimes you know if something looks on the surface like it's not what, exactly what we want we have a tendency to reject that um, but this is law of attraction so accept in what's going on knowing that it is for the balancing and for your highest good but this is looking like there is movement coming towards you and it's all very very beautiful okay we have experiments this says uh, manipulation of nature fortune change cruelty in the pursuit of knowledge and arrogance I feel like this is a past energy with you and this ten, ten of swords okay spirits really saying allow the divine timing what did we say earlier surrender to the goodness stop experimenting with with certain bullshit and darker arts okay this is a number 33 some of that might mean something to you which is the um, 
which is the uh, number six, okay, which is the Merkaba, Higher Magic, Star of David. So what they're saying is the reason for the sleepless nights has been because many of you, this won't resonate with everyone, many of you have been trying to force the wheel, okay? You've been overthinking, you've been doing, some of you who are into um, doing spells, um, this is the modern witch tarot and the oracle of the mermaids, okay? And so, so some of you that are into doing those kind of things, you're doing too much, okay? This is law of attraction. It's saying stop doing all of that. If you truly have faith, if you tr truly believe in what's coming to you and for you, um, they're really boosting your confidence and they're saying stop trying to force the wheel. It's all coming to you, okay? Trust this um, this spread. You've got one of the best spreads I've seen in a very long time, okay? Um, with how all these things are playing out that's really leading to your benefit. But some of you are still in your head thinking, when will the next shoe drop? And we understand, they're acknowledging you've been through kind of a dark night of the soul. You've been through a lot of, of, of bad things, but stop trying to manipulate it and allow spirit to work behind the scenes. That's what has you stuck, okay? That's, that's where the perception needs to change um, because there's no need to do these experiments, okay? There's no need to put yourself in that position. You're efforting too much, okay? It's all of attraction. Everything will magnetize to you. How you change your vibration is, um, it's vibrational, okay? Have your rituals if it makes you feel comfortable, but the excessive trying to manipulate nature, things happen in cycles. So if the door's not open yet, it's not open yet because things aren't aligned. Um, uh, they're saying shift your perspective into out of manipulation or trying to change nature and into aligning with what it is that you want. So this is into changing your vibration and realizing that you are the creator of your beautiful reality that is coming forward for you. Okay, practice compassion. Okay, um, see things from a fresh perspective. What did I say? Okay, and this came out right over the hanged one. Okay, practice compassion. Practice compassion. Okay, and look to your inner strength. Okay, this is you are stronger than you realize, and that came over the magician. That's card number 11. Okay, um, you are much stronger than you realize, and that strength doesn't come from trying to manipulate things into being. That strength is you just being the light that you are. Group two, um, you really are a beautiful light, and I feel like because you've been kind of in that, you've had to be the light in the darkness. Um, you haven't had much sun until now um, for uh, some time. So they're really saying we get it, but now it's the time to practice compassion. Now it's the time to soften the edges, soften the armor, allow yourself to rejoice, allow yourself to enjoy, because this next lunar cycle is, is turning out to be one of the most beautiful months of your, um, of your year for sure, okay? So allow in that change, okay? Practice compassion, see things from a different perspective, wear amethyst if you'd like. And um, they're also saying uh, get some sunshine. So some of you be out in nature, get some sunshine. If you live in a winter climate, if you see that there's some sunshine out, go sit in it like a cat. They're showing me a cat curled up in the sunbeam, okay? Um, and so, uh, yeah, they said wrap it up. So that's it. All right, thank you guys so much. This is for pile two for your moon blessings from full moon cycle to full moon. Aloha okay. pile Aloha. three. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your full moon message. Okay, this is full moon in Cancer. So what we're asking for is what blessings and harvest is coming in for pile three for the full moon cycle. So from full moon to full moon. These are the blessings and the intentions that you set in um, the new previous new moon, okay? This full moon, while this is being filmed, is in Cancer. Cancer rules the stomach, the breast, the lymphatic system. Cancer rules home and family and um, emotions, okay? And relationship with your heart uh, chakra, with your emotions and your intuition. 
So all of those things may be heightened right now. So be um, before we even start the reading, be gentle with yourself, be gentle with what you eat during this full moon. Um, realize that emotions are gonna be up to the surface. And so choose your, your words um, uh, wisely when you're dealing with others because it can be heightened emotionally, okay? Um, I do read intuitively, so if those of some of you that are readers that watch my channel, um, I may not read exactly how those cards are. It just flows as a story. I do use my um, higher self guides and source to allow them to flow through me, um, so some other messages may come through for you. Okay, um, let's get to it. They said, all right, so Labradorite is the stone for you. This is the stone of magic, okay, you guys? Let's see. See that? Yeah. Healing properties. Labradorite is said to be an effective healing stone for those dealing with addiction and dependency. It is also popular for use in strengthening the immune system. Considered a dream stone, Labradorite pro promotes lucid dreaming, creativity, and deepens insight. It is said to strengthen one's intuition and aid in psychic abilities. Chakra, solar plexus. Okay. Astrological sign is Scorpio. Okay. So Labradorite is one of my favorite stones to make jewelry out of. Um, it's beautiful. It shines all different ways, reflecting the light, uh, much like when you're watching the waves of the ocean or the light dancing through the forest, okay? It's all these different beautiful hues of greens and blues and the light reflecting on it that gold sometimes, okay? And it's just very beautiful. It's going to help you to use your intuition, which is really just refraction and reflection of the light, excuse me. And um, I did shuffle all these cards beforehand. I have not seen them yet, okay? And so the Labradorite is um, really helping you. Um, for those of you who during this time have been, we've um, it's being filmed during a time where we've been in and out of lockdown and coronavirus for about a year. Um, so for those of you who maybe have had like dependency on others or other issues, Labradorite's going to be a really great stone for you. And with this saying, it's um, the stone of magic and dreaming. I feel like for some of you, your dreams lately have been really heightened, especially around this full moon. So pay attention to your dreams. Take a dream journal um, because that's going to give you information on your next steps, what's happening for you um, as you interpret that. Okay, we have Ten of Wands starting off. We have Seven of Swords. We have Seven of Pentacles. We have Ten of Pentacles. We have the Star. We have Six of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Um, Death. And we have nine of swords. All right. So this lunar cycle, okay. I feel like you guys have been burdened um, in some way because this first set here, okay. You've been on the defense. Some of you may have lost your job due to coronavirus. Um, there's so many pentacles that are happening here, which has to do with money values currency. So for those of you who resonated with this group, I do feel like it has very much to do with your financial situation and your situation on the material plane. Okay, so we have um, 10 of wands. I feel like you've been carrying a heavy burden. So for some of you, um, the Spirit's really saying for many of you, um, you lost your job and this past year has been very hard. Like so, so for some of you, it may have been due to coronavirus or um, you know, layoffs in that in that way um, and some of you may have families to support and you're not just by yourself so the little bit that we have gotten we're um, in America but the little bit that maybe that you have gotten um, money wise has well it hasn't been enough okay and you've been really focused on trying to figure out how to invest yourself well how to invest your money well how to invest your time well what do I do next? Some of you may have also been, you know, really thinking about wanting to go to school or learn something different or a new trade. Um, but it just seems like at the beginning of this reading, um, your past energy, it's showing 
that it's been a bit of a struggle, okay? And so um, what Spirit's saying is that's about to lift, okay? Because right in the middle of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles, okay? And right underneath of it is death. So there is a death and rebirth. Death is the card of Scorpio, which has to do with death and um, rebirth, okay? So it's not about... And it's, look, everyone is looking at death in a different way, okay? You've got this person here that's all, all the way done. The little girl's offering herself. The, the maiden is kind of looking to the side. And the old woman's looking lovingly at this um, death and rebirth because they've been through it plenty of times, okay? So there's a reverence that's happening. There's a white flower on there. It looks like hibiscus, okay? And so there is a healing that's occurring. Uh, Labradorite is healing. Ten of Pentacles has to do with, it's called in um, the Destiny cards, it's called, um, if this is your life path card, this is called the Blessed card, okay? And so this is saying that um, the blessings are coming for you, okay, financially. So the Pentacles have to do with values, currency, energy, what we value in life. And I feel like you have really been considering... Um, in the past three months, especially um, over this course of this whole year, but the past three months especially has been you considering how to invest your time, energy, uh, what to do next, okay? And so some of you, I feel like there's been kind of a desperate call to spirit, like help, help me, because what they're showing me is help is on the way, okay? Um, help is on the way, all right? Uh, your situation is about to change. Um, financially especially so this ten of Pentacles um, can be a new job it also can be a blessing that comes in um, of money and so you may have like a stimulus come in an inheritance come in um, a blessing of some sort because see because because it's paired with death and I'm looking at the old ladies in the card okay so see she is kind of meeting with the dogs and they're like doing their own thing, making a transaction here. Okay. The family, um, getting things set up and all together. So some of you, um, may have an inheritance that happens. I typically don't say that, but because of how these are paired, um, you know, these two ladies here looking fondly at that and they've lived a good long life. This isn't something that's, um, you know, someone young, I would say, uh, someone who's lived a good long life and there's an inheritance for you. Um, for some of you, you might not even know this person, okay? Like, I feel like for, um, they're saying surprise, you know, so it might be a long lost auntie or uncle or, or someone um, who you've benefited dearly um, that's not family, um, but an inheritance is coming to you. Um, this is also saying being blessed um, financially in your workplace and so we have the star so there's healing that's happening okay you have this beautiful white bird that's coming through there the star is the card of Aquarius it's humanitarian I feel like for many of you um, you may be like caretakers or healers or people come to you um, with their problems and it's like what spirit's showing me is you really take care and nurture of a lot of people regardless of your gender and they're saying you're going to be rewarded for that. You're going to be blessed for that. Um, they do hear your wish. Okay. Um, they're really showing with this Labradorite to support your immune system because I do feel like you've been taking care of others at this time. Uh, some of you, uh, they're saying nursing. So some of you may have been um, looking at going to school for nursing and I'm getting like a thumbs up with that. Okay. Um, but really taking good care of your immunity and paying attention in your dream time. I do feel like, um, I do feel like you take care of people so well, um, and it's such second nature to you that you don't even realize how much you're blessing others. And so um, we have Six of Pentacles, which is a balancing and a gift, you see? So it's like, there's a balancing that's occurring in your money life. And so Spirit's saying, um, be willing to receive it. I feel like some of you, it's like, um, because they're showing me what used to happen with my grandma when she was alive. They didn't have a lot of money, so I never wanted to take any money from them, but she always wanted to give me something, okay? And so she tried to hand me money and be like, no, grandma, no, don't, um, 
no, no, I don't need it. I, I got it, you know. And then I didn't give her the gift of um, giving to me. And so she'd hide it in my purse. So she'd go in my purse and just hide the money and give it to me anyway. And so this is showing me, <laughs> sorry, that makes me a little emotional. <laughs> Um, this is showing me that um, you have those blessings. And so it's saying if someone wants to give to you, um, receive, give and receive the flowers while they're living. My grandmother passed last year, right? Um, oh, excuse me, 2018. So it'll be two years now um, on the 12th. And so this is saying take the flowers, take the gifts while they're living. Take, you know, allow yourself to be recognized. Allow the balancing to occur. If someone wants to help you out, allow them to help you out because you've been helping people so much, even more than you know, okay? So I feel like there's gifts and blessings coming into you in this lunar cycle. Allow people to give to you. Allow people to um, share with you, okay? Um, <clears throat> yeah, because this will ease the end of your thing is the Nine of Swords, okay? So we have Four of Pentacles, Death, nine of swords so four of pentacles is um showing me it's under the seven of pentacles so it's showing me you're really deciding what you value how you're going to build your foundation many of you are really wanting to build your foundation for your family um this isn't going to resonate with everyone but for a lot of you like what's really coming through is this energy of single mother or single father more specifically single mom so i feel like some of you are single moms so you're really trying to figure out how am i going to build this foundation for my family and notice that this six of pentacles has this beautiful woman who's giving a gift to her family to her friends you know um, really balancing things out and there's a healing that's occurring in your material world so where things have been kind of hard I do feel like for some of you there's um, like they're showing me new home because the Ten of Pentacles is um, home, family, like blessed life. So that includes all of your material needs. Um, Spirit's saying your material needs are going to be met. So this Nine of Swords, it's saying, um, Nine of Swords can say overthinking sleepless nights. So what I'm feeling like is this is a past energy and a warning. Okay, so it's just saying at the end of the reading, avoid those sleepless nights really trust in spirit um, pay attention to your dreams that's going to lead you to your next opportunity there's a healing that's happening right now um, specifically in your material world so in your finances um, in your um, what you have in this world and and I, I can feel the burdens like it's heavy on my chest like I'm having a hard time to breathe and um, they're saying that's lifting there's a death and rebirth that's happening specifically in your job and finances some of you may be um uh -uh, pen. some of you may be moving into this um next thing for a small few of you might be really good with animals it's showing me these dogs here okay and so they're saying you know like um dog walking business or some of you going to vet school or you know um that's very specific but something with animals um, because animals have showed up in several of these cards. Okay. And so, um, it's like helping others and helping animals. Let's look at your Oracle cards. Okay. We have the orchid priest of destiny. Let's see there. Okay. I am going to look that one up. I have not seen that card in a long time. I wouldn't want to tell you the wrong thing. Okay. The orchid priestess. Oh, Orchid Priestess of Destiny, of your highest spiritual destiny calls to you now, beloved. She calls to your purpose, path, and soul passion. You are called to rise again and again, to live up to your potential with all its uniqueness and beauty. She will call you always with her sweet flute playing deep in your heart, blossoms of orchid and chrysanthemum falling from her feet, stirring your heart to quest for your truest soul's passion. So this is also about you um, making money in the world in the way of your heart's desire. We also have Veil of Shadows, okay? So they are saying that you've gone through this dark time, okay? Um, and that you are learning and benefiting from um, 
learning your shadow side, okay? It's saying a, a lotus blossoms with deep, rich mud into which she plunges her roots and draws great nourishment. From this mud made of water and earth, growth happens and great beauty is revealed. Your soul lotus thrives through depth of emotion and aliveness of your body into which she can plant herself and unfold a lotus of light. Okay, so you're growing. This mud and mire has been to grow you into your soul's passion. Okay, so Spirit's saying they know you've been going through a death to old ways of being. Um, some of you may have gone through really harder times. But um, now the center of your reading is the Ten of Pentacles, the blessed card, the most blessed financially. We have dreams. Okay, this came up with the Labradorite. Um, vivid dreaming, dream messages, dream teaching. You guys, if you are not recording your dreams, I don't know what you're doing. There's so much information in there for you. It's going to change your life. Uh, okay. And so, um, definitely check your dreams and then simple acts of kindness. Okay. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. So Spirit's saying, be kind to yourself and allow others to be kind to you. This came out with the Six of Pentacles. So as you're balancing, you're not only um, balancing your money and coming into your own power, um, you're allowing others to give you kindness as well. I feel like gifts are coming for you. Really pay attention to your dreams, your financial situation, and, and your material plane situation is changing. And how that changes is taking it from the dream time to the material. So really pay attention to your dreams and your soul's passion because those doors and opportunities are opening for you. Okay, so really make sure you get good rest. This nine of swords is showing me, and especially with the immunity of the Labradorite. So wear or hold Labradorite, carry it with you to boost your immunity. Whatever you do as your practice to boost immunity and keep yourself feeling well, or um, take, you know, um, I'm not a doctor, so do what works for you, but it's like I um, had to, I was having lots of sleepless nights, so I, I changed my magnesium and melatonin kind of thing. So, you know, uh, check out what supplements work for you, but make sure you're getting really good rest because those dreams are where you're going to find the next steps, okay? So group three, there is hope, there's healing that's happening. You have some of the most beautiful cards um, the star, ten of pentacles, things are changing for you. They're healing. Your dreams are very important. And like the lotus, you are blooming from a darker time. Okay, until next time, aloha.